spreading the fire, deploying a Firebase application. In the last section, we applied everything we learned about presence, transactions, and latency to make Live Links feel more alive, accurate, and robust. Now we come to the moment of truth. It's time to deploy Live Links to the web and watch the fire spread. In this section, we'll learn about domain whitelisting, install the Firebase command line tools, deploy our app, and play around with some of the advanced app configurations Firebase's hosting service provides. In this video, Domain Whitelisting and the Firebase command line tools, we'll learn about domain whitelisting and what it's used for. Then we'll install and play around with Firebase command line tools. And finally, we'll deploy our Live Links application to the web. Let's get to it. In order to use third-party authentication like Google or Facebook, we must tell Firebase which domain we plan to serve our app from so that those third-party authentication mechanisms know where to redirect users to. Open the Live Links dashboard and navigate to the Login and Auth section. We see that Firebase has already pre-populated the Authorized Domains field with some values, such as the standard localhost address and a Firebase domain with our app's name as the subdomain. This allows us to test out third-party auth from our local server while we develop and also when we deploy to Firebase. If we were to use a custom domain, we would add that here as well. Note that you can change how long a session lasts as well. So what's involved with actually deploying a Firebase application? Well, we could set up our own third-party hosting solution and web server and dump our files there, but it seems like a lot of wasted effort just to serve a few static HTML, CSS, and JS files Luckily, Firebase provides a hosting solution that does just that in a turnkey manner. Open up your terminal and navigate to the root of your Live Links project. If you don't have Node.js installed, please do that now as it is required to move forward. Once you have Node installed, type npm install g firebase tools to install the Firebase command line tools globally on your system. With these tools, we can perform a number of handy actions related to deploying our application, such as initializing our application as a Firebase application, deploying it to Firebase's servers to be hosted, and managing deploys or rolling them back. Because we've already created live links, we'll be using the init command to initialize our apps as a Firebase app. Had we done this before starting our project, we'd use the bootstrap command. Type Firebase init into the command prompt. It will ask for login credentials, so type them in when prompted. Then we need to choose which Firebase app we want to deploy. Finally, it will ask where the public folder, or really, where the index.html file lives. Ours is in the root folder of our project, so just hit enter. Check the contents of your project folder, and you will notice a Firebase.json configuration file has been created for you. Let's open it and see what it contains. It has information about which Firebase app this project is associated with, which folder is the public folder, and a few default ignore rules which can be added to. We'll look at this file in more depth in the next video. For now, let's run through the other available commands. Type Firebase login to authenticate with Firebase for any commands that might require authentication, and Firebase logout to kill the session. Log back in and type Firebase list to see a list of available applications for your account. A series of flags can be passed into the Firebase command, such as silent, version, and help, which are all self-explanatory. Finally, let's run the most important command available, Firebase deploy. This will push our application up to Firebase's servers Firebase will make our app publicly available at an address that uses our app name as a subdomain and firebaseapp.com as the domain name. Let's visit it and make sure everything is running fine. Looks great. Live Links is officially live. Should we want to remove the app from the web, we could use the command firebase delete app. We have a good understanding of what whitelisting domains does for us. We've installed and played around with the Firebase command line tools and we have deployed our application to the web. In the next video, Advanced App Configuration, we'll wrap up our deployment of Live Links by looking at some advanced configuration options.